Hello guys, Cryptograns here. Welcome back to another Unity anti matter Dimension video. This is episode 9, and today we're going to be doing Break Infinity. It's going to be an awesome video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, and if you learned something new, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on the notification for future live streams and video. And don't forget, don't forget, be sure to uh, watch to the end, okay? Uh, watch, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, happened a little sooner than I was expecting. But yeah, anyways, make sure you watch the entire video. It really helps grow the channel and comment and all that good stuff, okay? Anyways, today we're going to be doing Infinity. So that is the big crunch here, okay? So if you don't know, that occurs when we have E308 antimatter. Well, specifically 1.79 E308 antimatter, okay? So yeah, we have our big crunch here. I'm not going to do anything yet because we're just going to kind of get stuff um, uh, get stuff started, okay? So yeah, let's do that. So what I'm going to do is that pretty much this entire screen is just gone, right? So uh, we can simply just wipe this canvas, but that will kind of be a little weird. But so what I'm going to do instead, I'm just going to create an empty, uh, an empty game object here. And that's going to be called uh, just the big... Or, non big crunch i guess we'll just call it okay we're gonna make it stretch for the entire canvas once i zoom out so zero 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 okay and then we're just gonna throw everything inside okay so now we could just toggle this and we'll it'll do as we please and now what we're gonna do is add another game object we're gonna stretch it to to our entire canvas as usual and now we're just going to add another button. So I'm just going to copy and paste this dimension button here. And uh, yeah, we're going to do that. Big crunch. Okay. And now let's turn that off. And we have our, uh, our big button here. And that will say big crunch. Okay. Now I think I'm going to add another text that says how much you get. Because this is kind of vague. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we gotta stick to aesthetics, so maybe we'll just keep it like this. Okay, that looks good. Though this but this image border is kinda awkward, in my opinion. Yeah, I like that. Big crunch. I like that. And then we need to add one more text as well. And that's just like this right here. And the world has collapsed itself due to the excess of antimatter. Cool, 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 cool. We're done, and I'm just gonna bring that to the middle, okay? And that's all we need to do. We can also add the little animation here, and this is what it looks like. It's just a screen that like comes in and out, okay? We can try that animation too. We'll try it, okay? So let's start with this big crunch animation, okay? So what we're gonna do is go to our animation tab. It should be open. If it's not, you could just do um, click on the three dots here, add a tab, and then add animation. Okay, and then you just click this create button here to create an animation. Let's create a new folder called uh, animations. Ah, man, that's terrible. Okay, and I'm going to call this big crunch um, out. Okay, big crunch out. Okay, so now what we do here is simply just record this. And then this is honestly just going from scale like one to zero okay it's basically just doing that okay it's very easy to animate uh, i couldn't record how fast that was but i'm guessing it was like a second yeah like that <laughs> pretty easy honestly and then we're gonna make another animation for our non big crunch screen And basically, these will both play at the exact same time. So I'm going to create another animation. And this one's going to be called Big Crunch In. Okay. And it's the same thing where we set this to zero at the start. After one second, we're going to also set it to... We're going to set it to one for now. Okay. You'll see what I'm doing here. We're going to add another value for one. I'm just going to like change all this stuff eventually. Okay. So this will become one and then this will be zero. Okay. So basically at, it's staying at zero for a second and then it'll, after one second, it'll come back like that. Okay. And also what we want to do is go to our uh, animations folder 
Um, oh, here's Big Crunch out. I was wondering where that went. Move these to that folder. So click on Big Crunch and Big Crunch out. Yeah, in and out. Okay, so make sure you toggle off the loop time. Okay, and also before we forget, let's um, set this update mode to unscaled time. Okay, so no matter what our game speed is, we can uh, it'll just be, it'll just be at the same speed, right? If it was two times game speed, then the animation would be, would perform two times faster. Okay, pretty easy, pretty easy. And honestly, we can start a new script here. We're just gonna call this Infinity, Infinity Manager. Okay, we're not gonna do much today. We're just gonna really get started with um what we unlock here, like the infinity tab. We're not probably not gonna do many of the upgrades. That might be it next episode. I kinda want this to be a sweet and short sim uh, simple video. Okay. <clears throat> um seltzer. Alright, so now we're gonna add a new script called Infinity Manager. Cool, cool, cool. Also I've been doing a terrible job moving my scripts to the the scripts folder. So I'm gonna do that real quick once this file is created. There we go. I'm just going to move that to our scripts folder because I kind of got to get organized, you know. Also, one thing I want to teach you guys, never move a folder inside Writer or an IDE, okay? It'll just completely screw up your entire script and everything. So make sure you just do it inside Unity. Uh, What's this? Oh, this is Compacto. Oh, yeah. Uh, new window. <clears throat> Forgot that I had that open. Okay, so now we're in our script called Infinity Manager. We're basically going to have two animators, okay? And the first one is going to be crunch in, and the second one will be crunch out. Okay, and I think we have to add a using Unity Engine.ui. We will have to at some point. And also, we're, we're going to need TM Pro. Okay. Well, it looks like these are Unity Engine. Not, okay. Good. Makes sense. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to perform, we're not going to do any resetting now. We're just going to do, a, we're just going to perform a, a big crunch here. Okay. But we're not going to do any resetting. We're just going to do the animation stuff. Okay. So then in here, all you got to do is do crunch in uh, and crunch out. So crunch out is the one where it goes out. Okay. So we want to play the crunch out first. So crunch out dot play. And what are we named it? And it's it should be just big crunch. I think it's just big crunch in or big crunch out. Yeah. And the state name is big crunch out, which we'll puts zero and zero for a layer in for our normalized time. And for big crunch in, it's or the crunch in. It's the same thing. That it's called a uh, big crunch in. Whew. Okay. So now once we call this button here, everything should run. Mm. However, we're missing something. We don't know when this big crunch is actually going to appear. So we need to do that. So how do we do that? Well, in our data here, actually, we could just create an image here. Because that's what it is, actually. Yeah, no, it's like, uh, yeah, it's just, okay. I see now. <laughs> uh, in our game controller is where we we'll perform this. Okay, so we're going to have two uh, game objects. Actually, really, this should be canvas. These should be canvases. Yeah, we're going to make these canvases, okay? So we're going to have two canvases in our game controller. Our first one's going to be called the non-big crunch, and the second one's going to be called uh, big crunch, okay? Alrighty, and now this will show up when we do this, okay? Also, before we... F actually, now we're going to get to that eventually, okay? <laughs> so in our update method... If uh, data dot anti uh, yeah data dot antimatter is greater than or equal than um what was I gonna do yeah double dot max we're basically not gonna do like the infinite infinity thing okay actually yeah we are never mind ignore what I'm saying oh yeah so we're gonna do this okay so if antimatter is greater than or equal than uh double dot max value. We're going to do a question mark operator instead. Okay. Or not a question mark operator. So we're just going to do dot, um, non big crunch dot game object dot set active to, uh, we want to set this to false, right? So if, as long as it's not greater than or equal than, okay. So you can just simply just do less than. 
<clears throat> so if data dot antimatter is less than double dot max value, okay. And eventually, once we break infinity, we'll we'll get rid. We'll fix this, okay. Now the same thing for uh big crunch, except the opposite. We want to do it if antimatter is greater than or equal than double dot max value, okay. And then we'll just show that pop up. Awesome. I think that's it. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our game script here and simply add the non big crunch canvas and the big crunch canvas. And then we're gonna go to our infinity manager and drag in the non big crunch um, animator, which is crunch in and big crunch, which is crunch out. Okay. And also we need to add a button component or yeah, we just need to drag this infinity manager into our button component for the dimensions button. Actually, we're gonna rename this to the big crunch button, big crunch button. Okay, and now we're gonna replace this function or the method with big crunch. I still hate how this is function because it's really a method. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, issue. Yeah, I forgot about this. When we go to our animator tab here, again, three dots, add tab. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta actually do uh, window, animation, animator. Okay, now the issue here is that on start, it's gonna call this big crunch in, right? So how to fix this? We're gonna create an empty state. So you do right click, create state, empty. Okay, so it's just doing nothing. And then we're gonna right click that and we're gonna do uh, set layer as default state. So then now it, we don't have to worry about that. Do the same thing with um, for both, okay? Cool, we're good. Okay, save actually doesn't need to save because it's, I don't know, this doesn't need to. Uh, now we can run and we should be good. So let's see how many, let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like we have, oh, we have lots of antimatter. We have 637,000. What was that? What the fuck did I just say? E638. I don't even know what I just said, guys. Okay, so now we'll, let's just try this out. So we at least know that it works, okay? Okay, let's try it. Oh, it's inactive. I see. I see. Okay. Issue number one. It's this right here. This is an issue right here. Okay. Hmm. I think I should do a canvas group for this one. I think that's the only solution. All right. Ditch what I said before. We're going to get rid of both of these canvas and the graphic raycaster. Uh, so delete gra graphic recaster first and then canvas and then add a canvas group. Okay. I don't really like using canvas groups, but this is my only solution for now. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> and in here, I'm just going to add another method called public void canvas group change. Okay. And in here is just going to be a bool. And, uh, and we're also going to take in a canvas group. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do in here is we're going to do canvas or we're going to do group dot alpha is equal to statement question mark one or zero. Okay, and now this is the same thing except for um, <clears throat> group dot block raycast is, e is also equal to group dot interactable. Okay, and that's going to be equal to statements. That's pretty much it. So that's canvas group change. So now we're just going to be toggling our canvas group instead of doing this right here. Okay. So that means we got to replace these two canvases here with canvas group. Okay. And okay. So you see non big crunch. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to replace all of this with canvas group change our statement right here. And then our, um, non big crunch canvas group right here. Okay. We're going to do the exact same thing for the big crunch right here and everything should be lovely now. The only issue here is that we're not resetting our, we're not resetting our, um, our antimatter. Okay. So that's an issue because it's just going to like keep, it's just going to stay on forever and this will always stay off. Oh yeah. Right. Don't forget to redrag your canvas groups. Okay. Let's try this out. I know it's not going to work for a fact. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. 
Yeah, we gotta turn this on. <clears throat> okay. So I just turned the big crunch uh, on and I set the canvas group to one and then turn these two on. Now if we play this, it should work and except we're not gonna see our, um, we're not gonna see this one here, okay? And this is gonna be gone now. I don't know where it went. I think it's, yeah, okay. What we gotta do here is set this back to one once we're done. So like right the next, at the next frame, we're gonna turn this back to one. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a little, yeah, a little messy, I know. Okay. So this is gonna become a mess, okay? This is a lot of troubleshooting here. So I think what I'm gonna do is that since I know this is a one second animation, I'm going to call, um, I'm gonna call another method, okay? But we're gonna do it after one second, okay? So big void, um, or public void, big crunch, reset, okay? And we're basically, I guess we're just gonna have to reset everything. And I should probably do that anyways. And what we do here is uh, something called invoke, okay? So we do invoke our method name and the time. So one, one second's fine. Ooh, sorry. Let's see what's wrong with this. Argument type method. Oh, I see. We have to make this a string. Okay, so public crunch reset. I think we can just do name of. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so invoke name of big crunch reset and our time is set to one F, okay? So we'll call this method after a second, which is just fine. Um. Okay, so let's do all of our resetting. So basically I'm just gonna go to our data and just copy all of this. Oh, we also wanna create a another variable real quick called public big double infinity points. Okay, and we're gonna set that to zero in our data. Uh, I'll organize this at the end, okay. Yeah, okay, I see now. So we're gonna add a game controller to this game and then do game dot data dot infinity points plus one. We're just gonna do plus equals one. Okay, well obviously this is there's a lot more that's gonna happen in the future. <laughs> And okay, so we're gonna create a temporary variable called data. We're gonna set that equal to game dot data, and we're going to add data dot at the beginning of all of these. Oh shoot! And just delete these. Ignore ignore what I just did. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. <clears throat> Achievement unlocks we can keep. That stays. Um, dimension counts. All that goes. Levels, shift boosts, pretty much everything in here goes. Yeah. Cool. So we're basically just resetting all of these and then adding an infinity point at the end. Okay. So let's give that a shot. Since now we have a little more um, going on. We actually, have, we actually have to reset too. So big crunch. Oh, that didn't like us. What did we do wrong? Oh, we forgot to add our game. Duh. Okay, let's see. Big crunch. Yay! It worked! So now let's see what happens if we get back to our one eighth, uh, our correct amount of... Yeah, there we go. Cool. <laughs> I love that. So let's see. I want to see it again. I want to see it again. In here. Should we do a comparison? A side-by-side -side comparison? This is too big. Oh, maximize on play. I should probably do that. Okay. Okay, let's do this side by side. Oh, man. Hold on. One second. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it looks cor exactly correct. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm just gonna add a few more user interface options, and then I'm just gonna call it at end of the day for t uh, for this video. Um, really, it's just a white. I don't even know how I'm gonna get that white button. 
I might have to design a new button real quick. Let's see, what is this? Like, plus 15? I think it's plus 10. Okay. And this is just an orange button. Like that. Now I need to get that white. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Um, button. Is this still in Photoshop? I hope it is. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So while we're waiting for that, let's just change our labels to infinity. I don't like how that's being positioned. It looks very weird. Infinity button. Okay. And now I'm just going to copy. Actually, I should just copy and paste this button. Let's see. Show and explore. Oh, man. I didn't want to do that. White button. Cool. And basically here... The thing that's a little tricky here is that we got to kind of change this color. So I think we just got to do this like on our own. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. It's no big deal. I'm just going to have to copy this color. Outer glow. There we go. We have our infinity button. That's the thing that just kind of sucks about doing this. So I'm just going to keep it as white for now because I kind of just don't want to make another button. Uh, but I'm still going to have to do this, right? Yeah. So remember, whenever you create a new button like this, you have to go into the sprite editor. And if you want to use uh, slicing, you have to uh, divide up your image like that. And I'm still getting weird results. Why am I? That doesn't look right at all. Eat. Why does it look so... Ugh. Oh, I see why. I was like, why does it look so bad? It's because of this is orange. And then we make this black. Yay, we have infinity. Woohoo! <clears throat> it honestly looks a little too thin. Actually, you know, it's okay. It's okay. What if we made these a little... I like that. That looks much better. Ah, now I gotta position all of these. So what I do here is, um, it's I made all these buttons a width of one or uh, three three hundred. Negative one fifty minus seventy five minus seventy five minus fifteen. Let's see what is this? Oh, that's pretty easy. Pretty easy if you ask me. Okay, cool. We have our infinity. Awesome. Okay, I'm not really sure what else I can do right now. Okay, so let's see. What happens if we go to the infinity tab? We see everything, but... Um, so it's pretty much just like going to the achievements, right? We're basically just creating a, a brand new tab. We also unlock this text right here. Okay, so let's just add that real quick. Oh man, that's really wide. Why is it so wide? Are all of them like that? I don't remember making them that wide. Uh, that looks bad. <laughs> okay. That's fine with me. <laughs> uh, okay. And here we have our infinity points. Pretty. Nice. The thing I don't know how to do is this a glow. Okay. I really I don't know how to add a glow inside a text. I don't believe it's possible for what, for what I'm doing or for the text I'm using. So I'm just gonna simply do, you have zero infinity points. Okay, so I'm gonna add like a yellow instead. Oh, this is an inner glow. I totally forgot this was an inner glow. I thought it was an outer. And then since we have rich text on, we can do color equals hashtag that. And yeah, that's the only unfortunate thing I really don't know how to do, is that. And also, I really despise TextMesh Pro 
when it comes to glow. It looks terrible. Why is it overflowing? I want it to wrap. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, that looks... F no, I don't like that, really. Wait, is that actually what that's for? Oh, that's so cool. However, I don't like how it really just overlaps. Let's see. Oh, okay, I see now. You have zero infinity points. It honestly looks okay. I would still wish I could have this glow. I don't know. I like that. It looks nice. I don't really know how to add glow. Actually, let's see. Is there a thing? TM Pro in text glow. I doubt it. I really doubt it. Text with glow effect. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I don't really think so. Because the thing I don't like about it is that it's material based. So when you change the text, the out, the out, the glow, it changes all of them. Like I don't, I absolutely hate that. You can see how the glow is being changed on all of them, right? I hate that. It looks terrible. I don't know why it does that too. That looks really weird. Yeah, I don't, I honestly. <laughs> There's a lot of things I do not like about TM Pro, but there's also a lot of things that I do like about it. Can't get that mixed. Okay. Okay, everything looks good. All right, so now let's create this infinity tab real quick. So we have our achievement screen here. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm just gonna copy that and use this as the infinity screen. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of all these achievements because we don't need them. And here, this is where um, our you have this many infinity points will be displayed. Um, yeah, see, it's material. It's really stupid. You have zero infinity points. So we have uh, lots of tabs here. We also have auto buyers too. So th this is going to take a really long time to honestly do. Because I, I still got to figure out which upgrades are not unlimited. Obviously, some, some of them aren't. Some of them are. But, yeah, so we'll get to it. I think I should do a prefab here as well. And I might, I'm not sure. Hey, let's see. Let's create this button system first real quick. Let's get that done and over with. So dimension, bun, button, bun. I don't even know why I said that. And this will be our upgrade. That looks bad. I don't know why that looks so bad. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Um, so we have our upgrades here. Why does it look so weird? I don't know why. You can't really. Okay. <laughs> the other just looks weird to me. Okay, so we're just going to start with our upgrades. And I think I'm going to do a prefab for each of these upgrades. So we have different colors here. Uh, what, what if you buy? Okay, so we have white, black. So we're gonna have to create some new buttons here. Uh, this is our white button here. Actually, this is gonna be called the infinity button. So we'll just copy and paste each one. So this is the infinity button. This is just gonna be a white button. Okay, and this will have a, a black in our glow. Again, you know, this is just extra stuff that I'm doing. You don't have to completely follow along when it comes to making the UI. You could do it however you'd like. Okay, and also I liked how I made this dimensions uh, thing right here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Except get rid of all the dimensions and all this stuff. I already have it set up. I just need to lower it. Okay, so now in here, we can finally add our button. So this would just be the upgrade section. Yeah. Public or right click UI image white button. Okay. We also need to do our uh, slicing in the sprite editor in here. Oh, it looks like it's already done. Wow. Okay, that's weird. So I guess it just copy and pastes its own settings. Interesting. 
That is very weird. I did not know that. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to figure out... Actually, let's figure out the settings first. To... I think that just looks kind of bad. I like the roundness. Like that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're going to have our four colors all set up. So this will not be a part of the prefab. So uh, we have our white. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste all these colors. One, two, three. Okay. And we also have... Oh, we have... We also have red. Right? What's that? Is this like... What's the difference between this one and this one? I don't, honestly don't know. But the, we have five colors then. We have the green, gray. We also have this red. Let's see, I don't know how I'm going to be able to select the purple. I think what I can do is that. Ooh, genius. I am a genius. Okay. We have that. Okay, so here we have all of our upgrades. Oh, I sent it to someone else. Oops, I meant to set that to myself. <laughs> okay, so here we have all of our colors. I'll delete these eventually, but they're just here for temporary. Cool. Um, okay. So I'm going to copy and paste this one upgrade here with this white one here. And I think this is too big. This is personally too big. So let's make this a 200 by... Uh, that's way too small. That's like a joke. I think I'm going to do 300 by 150. That looks pretty... Yeah, that looks about right. Um, and this is just going to be called an infinity upgrade. And we have a text inside. Text. Nope, it's a text mesh pro. Looks for pros. Okay. And the same thing in here, we have a black text. And we're just gonna like we select this. I swear you you've been able to. <laughs> Selects everything. Oh, that actually worked. Is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. That works, too. Currently. 4.2x. Cost. Let's see, what is this? One IP. We need to add some padding, too. Cool. I think we're looking good. I don't know why it does that rectangle thing. It's very weird. Okay. So we have our infinity upgrade. I'm just going to add this as a prefab. Ah, no, 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 no. We must add our infinity upgrade uh, game object here. Now, I know that's just 16 or 17 technically um, objects, but I still want to kind of just, you know, quality of life, right? So in here, we just have to add two things. And we also have to add um, using TM Pro and using unityengine.ui. Okay. Now in here, we're just gonna add an image. Uh, I don't know what it's called, just image. <laughs> and TMP text. Yeah. And this will just be called a uh, description, I guess. That's fine. Okay, and we're done with that. We just gotta drag in our stuff now and then we can um, start. And again, I'm getting really far ahead of myself. This is really supposed to be for next episode. Okay. Let's drag this into our prefab and then we're done. Cool. Alright, guys. We are done with uh, our infinity. I know it wasn't much to do, but we will start doing the upgrades in the next video, episode 10. And that's a good timing because that's a great milestone. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're still, if you watch all the way through, thank you very much. I extremely appreciate support. It really helps the video grow and helps the, uh, the channel grow, and it makes me happy. 
And yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on notifications for future videos. And then, oh yeah, comment all your feedback, uh, start a discussion, ask some questions, all that good stuff. I'll be sure to check those out. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Peace.